I've got all new super punches to unlock in Minecraft. I'm gonna discover them all and punch my way to victory. Let's unlock our first punch, shall we? Okay, we've gotta obtain a log. That's nice and easy. Hello, tree. Hey, yeah, give me my punch. hi -ya! Did I punch a log? Hey, there it is. We've got our splinter punch. So with this guy, I can right-click to send out like a little log. <laughs> hey, yeah! <laughs> it's kind of lame, honestly. Super punch? Eh. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so I get free sticks. I'm, I'm like sneezing out a bunch of wood or something. Like I just swallowed wood for breakfast. I've got a pretty loud bark. I <laughs> get it? Because log. Here, chicken catch. Hey, oh, oh, no. I didn't even know it's going <laughs> to. Well, I guess it, it damages mobs. Lessons learned. Also, I think if I punch a block. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it just breaks the whole mountain. Okay, well, now I can mine infinitely, I guess. No problem. Iron. I'll take some of you. Thank you. Oh, man. This is an efficient pickaxe, man. Who needs a pickaxe when you can use your knuckles? I shall build a tunnel. Well, our first punch is absurdly powerful already. We'll get some more wood here. What is our next punch? It's the uh, pickaxe punch. Craft a stone pickaxe. That's easy enough. Eh, eh, eh. Success! There we go. We've got a pickaxe punch, man. Okay, so with this guy, I can sneak and right click to launch out a giant pickaxe. What? What, what happened? It didn't break anything. My pickaxe is useless. Hey, yeah. No, oh, never mind. Okay, so I can sneak and then punch to break a five block radius. Dude, this is only our second punch and we're already like destroying the fabric of the universe. It's fine. Yeah. And then also if I just right click, I launch this giant pickaxe that flattens mobs. Let's try it, shall we? Anybody home? Ooh, gravel. So satisfying. Wow. <gasps> I see a zombie. Hey, buddy boy, your face is looking around. Can I flatten it for you? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that. Take that creeper boy. Yeah, little flattened mobs. Can't do much now. Oh, goodness. No, you can't. Okay, good to know. Flattened mobs can still do damage. <gasps> a dungeon. Hey. Yeah, this is the weirdest looking dungeon I've ever seen, man. Look at this thing. Hey, zombie, can you hold this wood for me? Thank you. Incredible. All right, let's see what else we got. We've got the emerald uppercut. Trade with a villager, it says. That shouldn't be too hard. We've got, like, infinite sticks, so I guess that should be an easy one. The last punch I can get is called the dragon punch, so I just want to get as powerful as I can before then, just, like, one hit the dragon. Oh, what's up, villager boys? Why do you look different, man? You're not like the others. Okay, do you trade, uh, emeralds for bread? Don't have any emeralds yet. Can I get emeralds from anybody? Coal? I guess I could get coal. I was hoping I could... Yeah, I can trade sticks. Okay, dude. Look at my magic trick, sir. Can you not sniff my neck, my guy? Earlier, I swallowed saplings, and now I can vomit trees. <laughs> yeah, right. That should be plenty of sticks. Just gotta get a couple emeralds here, and our emerald uppercut. Yeah, this guy's looking sick. Hey, sir, can I punch you with my money? <laughs> you know how people make it rain where they, like, throw dollar bills everywhere? You just throw, like, Six pound emeralds at people. <laughs> Make it rain. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I can I can punch to get launched up in the air. Uh, yeah. uh, is that it? Is that all it does? Maybe I have to hit mobs or something. Let me go find a mob to jump on. Oh, oh weird. I died. I unlocked a punch. The hungry hook. I guess when I died, I refilled my hunger, so I unlocked my hungry hook here. Let's try out this emerald boy, shall we? Oh, gosh. Why is there water here? <laughs> water in the desert. That's cursed. And launch up. Smash. Boom. No. How do I use this thing, man? <laughs> I don't know how to use this. Oh, I see. I got to punch a mob there. There we we go. Money for me. Am I stealing their lunch money, dude? Am I a bad person? Give me your lunch money. Yeah. Hey -ya! You think you can jump high? I don't know, man. This is kind of a weird one. I feel kind of bad just stealing from husks. No, my life savings. Hey, they probably stole it from the villagers anyway. Hey, boys, I got some emeralds yeah. for you. I'm like Robin Hood. I steal from the undead and I give to the villagers. There you go, buddy boys. Getting a little hungry here. Might be perfect time to use my, my hungry hook, which, <laughs> which is essentially, I just stuffed my hand inside of a turkey, dude. <laughs> oh, man, this is weird. Hitting a mob shrinks them in size and gives regeneration and restores some hunger. Very weird. I like it. I'm in a cave because I need some iron later anyway. I have to make an iron golem for one of our next upgrades. So let's try this shrinky boy and let's get ourselves some iron. And I'm going to try my hardest not to die right now. I am very close to the good old death of Reno. I'm going to heal up a little bit. I feel uncomfortable having like one single heart. Hello, zomboy. Can I smack you with 
a cooked chicken? <laughs> so I smack him and he gets smaller. Does that mean I'm consuming him if it gives me regeneration and hunger? Ah, oh, little zombie. He's so cute. He doesn't even attack me anymore. Are we just friends? Oh, he's so cute. Ow. <laughs> he can't. He can't. <laughs> he can't get up the block. Oh, no, little guy. I feel so bad for him. He's trying so hard. He's like, Dad, Dad, please let me up, Dad. Hold on, hold on. I'll make you some slabs. There we go. There we go. Put down a slab. Can you get up now? There we go. Good job, buddy. I'm so proud of you. Okay, now now you can go away. Oh, I like this video already. Uh, I heard an arrow shoot. Where are you, skeleton? Show yourself. All the way up there, huh? You think you're safe? With my emerald punch, I launch up. And he, he, he went down. Okay. I shall make you a tiny skeleton. Ah, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> he still shoots full-size arrows, though. All right, that's enough. That's enough of you. Let me get some iron here. I will need what? Like 30-something iron to make an iron golem? Our pickaxe punch is really coming in handy. <laughs> Look at how tiny this little guy is. I love him. Oh, well, all right. He fell off two blocks and died of fall damage. Let me get the rest of this iron here, and then we'll get ready to craft our golem. Ah! Ouch, gotta be careful where I use that bad boy. Hey, yeah. 45 iron, that should be plenty. There is our iron, and there's our iron blocks. We gotta make some shears here for the pumpkins, and there should be pumpkins around here somewhere. I'm still just covered in arrows. I like how it feels. Feels like acupuncer. Ac acu. What is that? Ac ac acu. Ac ac acu. What's the like therapy thing where they poke you with needles? Tattoos. No, acupuncture. That's it. There's a cute little pumpkin boy. I'll grab you. Thank you, buddy. And then I place you back down. I forgot. You gotta right-click him. There he goes. We got our pumpkin head. Let's go back to that village from earlier. I figure the village will get the most use out of an iron golem. Gentlemen, meet your new bodyguard. ra -de -de da There's our golem, and there's our iron golem fist. Oh, gosh. Is it a raid? Well, he spawned into existence, and he's right to work. Just like corporate America. Okay, here we go. Iron golem fist, attack! Oh, cool. I shoot out like an iron fist at him. Ha-ha! <laughs> no, stay alive, buddy. I I got you. Or maybe you got you. Okay, I didn't do a whole lot. Nice job, uh, Bunko. Don't worry, I will heal your wounds. Looking fresh, my boy. Nice fresh coat of iron, I guess. I was gonna say nice coat of paint, but I just kind of slapped a bunch of iron ingots on him, and he's like, yeah, I'm chilling. Oh, that's a cool power. Every kill I get, I get one armor bar up to 20. I have one single armor bar, so I guess I only got one kill during that. I didn't do a whole lot of work. The iron golem pretty much did all the work for me. So we can farm some husk kills here and get ourselves some armor. Nice, man. Free armor from punching mobs. We take those. Ooh, there is a pyramid. A little guy pyramid. Fun fact, that was Minecraft's original term for this was little guy. <laughs> yes, there is a TNT punch. Interesting. It says activate the correct pressure plate. I don't know what that means. Oh, I'm gonna die if I do this. Wait a second. This is a whole... <gasps> oh my goodness. That's what it meant. Uh, there's a bunch of pressure plates in here. I assume one works and the rest just fully explodes me. Okay, let's try this one. Oh gosh, nope, nope. That's just, uh, that's just the husk. It's fine. I was getting hungry anyways. Okay, how about this one? Nope, that's just a husk. How about this one? Gosh, are they all just husks? Oh, they look like little ballerinas jumping up the stairs like that. They're very cute. And they'll be even cuter when I eat pieces of them to make them smaller. That might be the weirdest sentence I've ever said. Come on, boys. Like I have an army of little zombie children. Come, little ducklings. <laughs> they're so cute. Well, I could use some armor bars anyway, so they there you go. I have to stop making them small. I feel bad. They're innocent little... Oh, that's a big husk. Oh, goodness gracious. Come on, man. Give me... Okay, that's a husk. That's a husk. I'm just gonna run on all of them, and then hopefully I get the right one. Oh, gosh. This is a bad idea. This is, this is a lot of husks. Come on, man. Where's the correct pressure plate? Give me the TNT punch. Ah! I feel like I've hit every single pressure plate. There's 9,000 husks in here. <gasps> I got it. I got it. I got it. Yes, the TNT punch. Okay, boys, hold still. We're taking a family photo. Say cheese. Hey -ya! Oh, gosh. I think I just lit one of them. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so I punch a mob and it, like, turns into a TNT. <laughs> Kaboom. Kaboom. So it looks like they light and then explode like a TNT. Hey -ya! Looks like the explosion does break blocks, but it doesn't damage mobs, it looks like. So it's time. Time for our iron fist to come out. Yeah, yeah, iron fist, go! Yeah, 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 yeah! Can't stop me now! Ah! <laughs> Nailed it! Crush that, dude. Just one little guy left. 
Oh, you can't get up on the block. I will spare you, little guy. Be free, little one. Roam around the world. Be kind and be good to others. I have done enough husk harvesting for one lifetime. Next up, we've got the lava punch to unlock, and I've got just the place to do it. Wow, yes, very survival, very normal. All I have to do is pretty easy. I just have to punch some lava. <laughs> Please don't try this at home. Crafty said I could do this. Mom, we gotta go to a volcano. <laughs> okay, we punch some lava, and there's our lava punch. Oh, this thing's spiky. Oh, goodness. <laughs> well, good news is, is I don't die of lava, so that's nice. F some fire resistance. My own personal portable hot tub. It is getting cold this winter. Bundle up with some nice flames. <laughs> Again, don't try this at home. So, I can punch lava to turn it into obsidian. That's pretty cool. Hey, yeah, get it? Cool. I'm so cool. I've turned lava into obsidian. Hello there, boys. How are you? Looks like a nether portal. Hey, boys, can you drop me some of that gold armor, please? I could use that to not die from piglins. Also, when I punch mobs, it sets them on fire, which is pretty cool. Or pretty hot, I should say. Come on, gentlemen. Single file. I have plenty of flames to go around. I love the smell of burnt flesh in the morning. <laughs> oh, gosh. This video is so weird. I'm sorry. I had too much caffeine today. Well, no gold armor drop, but that's just all right. Our next unlock is the nether cross chop. All I gotta do is light this ender portal over here, and if I'm lucky, I might actually be able to mine this obsidian. Does my pickaxe punch work on this? It's only a stone pickaxe. Yeah, it does. Okay, perfect. All right, let's complete the portal here, and our lava punch acts as a flint and steel, too, so I can just do this. Hey, yeah. Ah, there it is. And there's our nether cross chop. Ah, this thing's cool looking. I got a nether portal for a fist. Oh, very cool. I can punch blocks. Um, nope. What is that? Hits nearby mobs with a wave of energy. That's how I wake up in the morning. I don't drink coffee. I just punch myself in the face as hard as I can. And then when I right click, my magical fists can turn anything into gold. Nether wart into gold. Wood into gold. And even gold into gold. No, it doesn't work. And even lava into gold. Oh, gosh. No, it doesn't turn into gold. Lava punch saved me. Thank you. Perfecto. We'll bring our chicken fist and head into the nether. I want that dragon punch, man. We're one step closer. Oh, I'm realizing why I can turn blocks into gold. I don't know why I didn't recognize this sooner. I was like, okay, gold. That's pretty random. No, I can use it to trade with piglins. That makes a lot more sense now. We'll get ourselves plenty of gold here. Hato, hato, hato. Three stacks of gold. <laughs> How did you guys even get up there? What's going on? Why, why is there so many floating by? <laughs> the one single block. He's like, how did I get here? Guys. <laughs> Ender pearls, please, my boys. Wait, if I drop gold ingots, do they no longer pick it up? Do I have to right click them every time? Aw, oh, that's so slow. <sighs> I miss the good old days when I could trap piglins in a hole and throw them currency until they give me what I want. Please, sir, I just need one single pearl. Yeah, there's a pearl. My next fist is called the Eye of Beholder, and all I have to do is craft one one single eye of Ender, so let's go do that. Ah, huh, but it'll be so hard to find a fortress. Oh, hey, fortress. Uh, hi, yes, I'll take the number one special, the blaze rod, and does it come with fries? <laughs> I love this lava punch. Ah, the easiest blaze rod I've ever gotten. We'll craft ourselves our eye of Ender, and there it is, the Ender Jab. I feel like it could be a cooler sounding name, like the Ender Destructor 5000, the Stronghold Strong Arm, the Portal Puncher, but no, we got Ender jab. <laughs> so this guy's cool because when I... Oh! That is so cool! Whenever I punch it sends out like a dragon wave that destroys blocks, man. It just eats them. Sends them to the shadow realm. Huh? Uh, chew! Oh, so sorry. I just got a little sniffly. This is the closest I have to having dragon breath. This is awesome. But not only does it break blocks, it replaces mobs with ender eyes. <laughs> so I can just send these guys to the shadow realm and they drop their glorious eyeballs for me. Oh gosh, that sounds so horrific. It's fine, it's fine. I just send the mobs on vacation or something. Back up, skeletons! Give me your eyeballs. This video is so weird. I'm very sorry. First time crafty viewers are like, this guy's strange. This guy needs needs help. And you're right. I could really use some help hitting that subscribe button. Hey, <laughs> got him. Okay, 14 eyes of Ender. Let's go get that dragon punch, dude. That's next up on the unlock. A powerful punch and a delicious beverage at your local parties. The portal's right below us, and now we can just 
face smack down to get to the bottom. Yeah, this is so cool, man. Pardon me, excuse me, don't drown. What's up, Stronghold? How we doing, buddies? Oh my goodness, I just made it right to the portal. That was lucky. Can you guys not? Can you guys not? I will turn you into eyeballs. <laughs> okay, stop, stop. I'm gonna be very careful here. If I use one of my punches, it might break the portal frame, and then uh, video would be over. There we go. And I'm out of eyeballs. Hold on. Hello, zombies. Thank you for your donation of your eyeballs. Oh, shoot. There we go. And there's our dragon punch. Oh, this thing is rad looking. I got a whole dragon on my fist, man. Launches a ball of dragon breath. Does small amounts of damage until they die. Does small amounts of damage? <laughs> I thought it was gonna like one hit dragons. No, I'll do a quaint amount of damage. It launches a purple fury of attacks that'll tickle him. All right, anyway, let's go take out this dragon, shall we? A purpose for my emerald punch. I knew that jump would come in handy. Wahoo! Waha! Okay, can I use my dragon breath to explode those? Yes, I can. Okay, that's very useful, actually. Take out the crystals. Boom! Very nice. Doing small amounts of damage never felt so good. All right, all right. I like this dragon punch. It's pretty cool. What's up, buddy? Let's give you a taste of your own medicine. Oh, yeah. They weren't kidding, man. It does a small amount of damage. Oh, I see. It does damage over time. Wait, what happens if I use my TNT punch? Will he just explode? And... Ah! Oh! <laughs> Immediately! <laughs> the TNT punch just immediately exploded. I was going for the dragon punch. Turns out I had the most OP punch all along. And now it's your turn to punch the subscribe button with your turkey punch or whatever. <laughs> your, your chicken punch. Okay, bye!